Hi, I'm Carolyn Forster and I'm sharing with you today some of the hints and tips that I talk about during my classes. Today we're going to look at a stitch called Methodist Knot, which might be new to some of you. It's a stitch that falls into the category of the big stitch quilting family of stitches and it's a stitch that works up really quickly with the bold thread, 12 weight thread, a six size six quilting needle. And it's a cross between a knot and a stitch in that if you tug at the stitch, it won't gather up because it sort of knots itself as you work it. So hopefully you'll enjoy working this stitch and happy to have a go. So to start the stitch, we're going to thread the needle. We've got our thread, 12 weight thread, and a size six needle. <clears throat> and to start with, we're going to be hiding our knot at the beginning of our line of stitches. And to do this, you insert the needle along the line that you're going to be quilting along. And you can see I've got a line marked here with a hera marker. And you don't want to bring the needle up right at the beginning where you want to stitch. It needs to be a bit before the starting point because I'm going to start here, but the stitch goes backwards first. So there you go, not pop through and then I'm going backwards. Now this is, you can see we've got a big stitch and a small stitch and we're making the big stitch first and the needle's going all the way down through to the back of the work and comes up about a third of the distance ahead of the stitch. So you've got this little gap and then the needle goes into that hole at the end of that last stitch and the needle now travels along just through the batting you can see we've made a small stitch and a big stitch. Now we're going to do a big stitch again, coming up just ahead of the stitch we've made, and then in and along just through the batting. You can see we've got our stitches growing. And off we go. You can see that if I wouldn't, wasn't talking through this the whole time, then um, it would work up a lot quicker. You know, it speed me up. This is, at this point, so it's good to remember that the needle is going all the way through to the back of the work. And I'll show you the back of the work in a minute so you can see that. <clears throat> it's coming up ahead of the stitch and back in, small stitch. And at this point when the needle travels the longest distance, and this is the gauge between the length of the stitches, so it depends how long your needle is as to how big a gap there is between the stitches. Um, this is just through the batting. This is not through the back of the work, because you'd have an enormous great loop. So I'm getting now to the thread at the end of the needle and I'm going to finish on this last stitch. So all the way through to the back of the work, pop the needle up just ahead and then at this point all the way through to the back and up at the beginning of that stitch. And we're going to hide the knot the way we do for the back big stitch quilting. So we'll wrap the thread round the needle three times and to make the knot and then poke the needle through <clears throat> again a needle's length away you formed a knot and that will pop through and be hidden and if you want more details of that have a look at the video that covers only that knotting sequence and you'll see that a lot more clearly there we go have a go enjoy